Hello, welcome back. Today we will understand how to generate a random PAN number. The PAN number is a permanent account number related to income tax in India. PAN number is made of 10 characters in which first 5 characters are alphabet from E to Z and next 4 characters are 4 digits and the last character is again alphabet. So we are going to generate a random PAN number. Similarly, you can use the concepts that we are going to apply here for generating a similar random number. For example, you want to generate a random student ID which has some specific format. So, you can apply these concepts to generate a random student ID. We need to understand how to generate a random alphabet from A to Z and we will also need to understand how to generate a random digit. Now, generating a random digit is very easy. We use random function. But how to generate random alphabet? We need to understand logic for that. First, we need to find out what is a code number for each alphabet. So, for example, here I have written alphabet A. Now, we have one Google Sheet function called code. Using code, I can find out what is the code number for alphabet A. Now, similarly, we can find out code number for other alphabets, but we are doing reverse thing. So once I found the code of the starting alphabet, I simply add one number to each code number and in this way I get code 90 for 26th position. Now we do reverse thing. So we use a Google Sheet function called care. Using care, I can find out character for a particular code number. Right? So, for 66, the character is uh, B. In the same way, we can do it for other characters. Now, after this, I simply copy code from 65 to last number in the first column and I take alphabets from A to Z, I copy into the last column. And here just for validation, I am generating a sequence from 1 to 26 so that I can verify that uh, for a particular random number whether I am getting correct alphabet or not. Now the next step is to generate a random alphabet. We generate a random number using rand function which generates a random number from 0 to 1. We multiply it with 26 and to that randomly generated number, we add value 65 because my first alphabet A starts from 65 and now we do the reverse that is we find character for randomly represented number. And now we can combine all these uh, different formulas into a single formula which can generate a random alphabet. So you can see here first we generate a random number, we multiply it with 26 then we remove the fractional part using int function and whatever value I'm getting to that I'm at 65 and for that number I find out a character so which will give me alphabet from A to Z. Now let us understand how we generate PAN number. So here we have used formula that we created in the previous step we copy paste this formula in first five places and on the sixth place I have placed one white space. Now generating a random number which is a digit is very easy. We get random number using random function. We multiply it with 10 and then we remove fractional part using int. So this we do for four characters. We we'll get four digits. And again we use same formula to generate random alphabet. Now once we have all these numbers, characters generated, we generate PAN number by using text join function which will combine different uh, text which is present in different cells. So let us understand text join. So first is the uh, delimiters, we specify no delimiter. then ignore empty so we say false and then we are selecting 
different text so we take it from uh, b3 cell to l3 cell right and finally we will have one number generated now what i am going to do i am going to show it for other pan numbers how we can generate it so i simply copy pasted this formula into five places and now you see that once i copy this formula here in five places i will have four other pan numbers generated randomly so this is very useful in case you want to generate any random number which contains both alphabets and digits so we can use random function to solve our purpose for example when we want to generate a student id which also contains some alphabets so this is very useful the key point is how you use random function to solve our purpose so for alphabets we know that its range is from a to z so we generate a random number we multiply it with 26 and we can generate a desired alphabet and for digits it's very easy we just multiply the random number with the desired value now in case you want to generate a random number from say 0 to 100 you have to multiply the output of random function with value 100 so this random function is very useful whenever you want to generate any random data you can use it thanks for watching